much. Uh, well, uh, let's uh, get in Siddharth uh, Sidani, who's joining us on the show. Hi, Siddharth. Good to have you on the show. Well, Siddharth, we want to discuss a whole host of stocks uh, with you. But first up, let's talk about one of the losing stocks today. Dalmia Bharat, they have got JP Group's cement assets. It's a good deal, right? Then why is the stock under pressure? Because the street has various concerns. First up, why didn't the big boys like Altitech Cement and ACC Ambuja go ahead and bid more aggressively? After all, the valuation-wise, it's looking pretty good. Second up, uh, what about, uh, you know, the CAPEX? How much do they have to spend to get these plants up and running? That's a question mark. Then out of their total clinker capacity, you have the super, uh, Dala Super uh, uh, facility in Uttar Pradesh, which is 2.3 million tons odd. That's still locked in arbitration with Altitech Cement. So clarity on that front is awaited. And there's a Bilai JP Cement Limited. That's a JV between Sale as well as the JP Group. Now, Sale out there has closure on 24% stake. Will Sale bargain hard for that 24% stake? Then they'll there'll be an additional outgo that goes out there. And uh, last couple of po points, well, there's clarity awaited on the limestone reserves as well as the land in case they want to expand from here. And both these two parties, they're on board. But what about the lenders? Will they give the green signal to this deal? All these factors put together, Talmiya Bharat has come off a little bit from the top. Well, Siddharth, uh, tell us, what's your view on this deal, first of all? And what about Dalmia Bharat? How do you approach the stock from here on? Good afternoon, Nigel, and thank you for having me on the show. Uh, well, uh, the deal happens to be a lucrative deal for Dalmia Bharat, and when you pointed out that why the other biggies of this sector are not bidding for it, other biggies are going after other companies and where uh, they are uh, using their balance sheet to uh, get that uh, deals done. So I think this is, this would be a win-win deal for Dalmia Bharat because of two counts. So one is they are broadly present in East and South. So this deal will bring in, uh, uh, in uh, their presence in UP or Central India for that matter. Added to that, uh, Dalmia Bharat already has a plan to reach from 39 million tons to 49 million tons in the next two years. So this deal will definitely help them to uh, increase their capacities. Uh, of course, CAPEX is required. That is to the tune of three or thousand crore CAPEX, which is required. But overall, uh, organically also, this company has been doing good. 12% volume growth we've been seeing. I think uh, going ahead also, we may see 12% CAGR volume growth, 15% revenue growth. So we are positive on Dalmia Bharat. Uh, the, the reason behind why stock is falling, I think uh, uh, sell on news added to that, the stock has moved quite considerably well in last three months. So we can see a little bit of profit booking. But from a one-year perspective, I'm very confident on Dalmia Bharat with a target of 2160. I believe that this uh, the entire cement pack will be doing good, including Dalmia Bharat, and this deal will go well with the company. Okay, making it a pan-India player. Siddharth, hi, afternoon. What about IT stocks? Today you are seeing a rebound. Do you think the worst of the price damage, the correction, is in? Although we may have some more bad news by way of furloughs or perhaps the Q3 earnings may not meet expectations. But in terms of price damage, do you think the bad news is in the price or does it get worse? Well, hi, Rima. Uh, well, overall perspective, it would be a stock-specific uh, way ahead. Uh, broadly, prices, uh, the, the negatives are priced in. But uh, Q3 results, as you rightly pointed out, can be very much stock-specific. But broadly, the kind of uh, uh, spends we'll be seeing in US will give us a road ahead for the IT and tech companies. Broadly, it's a contra play and it's not a contra play from today. It's a contra play since three months. And I believe one should accumulate IT and tech companies in their portfolios because of a reason that now from here on only the spends, so what kind of a spend cut or spend rise is coming in the month of January is one thing to see. Added to that, the December quarter results will give the last signal that how to go about with these companies. So broadly, uh, I am quite confident on the technology companies selectively on the large cap and broadly very confident on the mid-cap arena. Mm. Uh, Siddharth, hi, good afternoon. Uh, the other space is uh, the PSU banks, right? Uh, what rallies they are seeing, uh, Siddharth? And, uh, you know, even names like Yuko Bank, which were the absolute uh, kind of, uh, you know, the bottom rung of asset quality, etc., coming back very, very strongly, uh, and of course, I mean, uh, the good ones, Bank of Baroda, Bank of India, all of them are good ones now if you look at the prices. Yuko, by the way, is limit up 20%. Uh, now, in the last one month, it's up 92. It's quite amazing. More left here, uh, Siddharth, or uh, what's your sense? How would you uh, rate these names now? Hi, Prashant. I personally believe the broadly done, the rally is broadly done because now it's the catch-up uh, game which is going on in all the banks as you rightly pointed out Yuko Bank is last nail in the coffin which is catching up 
So broadly, I am I am seeing that uh, PSU banking space again. You have to be very selective. Still, there are a lot of GNPs and slippages in the system of uh, PSU banking space. Although uh, there is a turnaround, credit growth is coming in in the broad based banking space, and that's why we've been seeing some improvement in the PSU banking space. But uh, I would still put my neck out and stick to some large caps in this uh, PSU banking space as an investment team for a trading positional point of view. One can bet on the smaller banks as you are rightly pointing out but i would put my neck out and stay, stand by with state bank of india with the investment point of view the rest i would book some profits uh, off the table okay all right uh, so that uh, request you to hang on let's focus on another space the real estate space macro tech developers well it's a little bit lower in trade on the back of uh, you know we have real estate uh, demand concerns whether or not that could be a bit of a slowdown. Earlier today, we spoke to the management. They gave us a sense about how demand is shaping up. Mr. Abhishek Lodha, MD and CEO of the company, says that he sees office demand will see an uptrend from year, year on, though that could be a short-term impact. Let's hear him out. Well, I believe that India's economy is going to do quite well over the next 10, 15 years, and therefore office demand in India, as well as retail, or for that matter, any real estate asset class, will do quite well. You could have short-term aberrations due to factor X or factor Y, but the medium and long-term is very good for any asset class in the real estate space. We believe that uh, demand uh, is not very closely linked to interest rates. We'll have to take into account the fact that a mortgage is a 20-year, home loan is a 20-year product, and therefore the starting interest rate makes little difference. Over the 20-year period, rates will go up and rates will go down, and therefore homeowners, if they look at it very, very pragmatically, there's no reason to get swayed by the current interest rate. We believe that home demand is very closely tied to job creation and job confidence and not really closely linked uh, to, uh, to mortgage rates or interest rates. We've seen that as rates have risen from you know, 6.5, 6.75% now to 8.3, 8.5%, demand has actually continued to... Your take on this space, will you look at real estate stocks or will you look at some of those ancillary plays? Both of them, in fact, Nigel, and I concur the view of the management. I think real estate have seen quite a, a rough patch after Demon, then after we've seen uh, COVID coming in. I think this pandemic and everything has slowed down things, but now they are catching up in the direct real estate pack. We like something like so of uh, Godrej Properties, again, a leader in this space, strong balance sheet. Uh, the four projects which they launched in the Q2, two in NCR, one in Mumbai, I think 50% of the pre-sales has been already done of uh, Godrej Properties. So Godrej Properties kind of play, I would like to go. Ancillary plays are also there where I would like to... Uh, put my neck out in uh, finding out some kind of a wires and cables player like Polycap, which is again buzzing today. Added to that, Supreme Industries, which is again into the pipes division, doing fabulously well from here on. So ancillary plays also will be a great play. Added to that, direct real estate play likes of Godrej Properties. Uh, Siddharth, do you look at Aditya Birla Capital? There was some news about uh, reported by the agencies that how they are weighing selling their insurance and brokerage unit. Uh, so, you know, do you track this and do you think this is going to have a material impact on the stock? Well, we don't track uh, Aditya Billa Capital and neither have a target on this, but uh, the stock has moved after a lull period of many years and now things are moving up. And I think on the back of the news, which you are alluring to, I think things are moving up well. If somebody is having in their portfolio, I think they should wait out because of the biggest reason that stock has come up after a long time. So wait out for a quarter or so, but don't don't forget to review it out in terms of the quarterly performances are concerned. It, uh, it's in a smart up move, but I think it's still below its IPO price. Uh, so that's stay with us. We'll take a break here. The first on the show, we'll come back. We'll put the spotlight on Tata Motors on the back of their new uh, uh, sort of plans with regards to Tata Tech IPO. Uh, we'll also track market technicals. Jay Bala joins us uh, Tuesday afternoon, so that conversation comes up as well. Stay with us.